hospitals today will give you paperwork, says, okay, here's an option, cochlear implant, here's another option, that really, they don't go into depth, they talk about the, the benefits of American Sign Language, all the different options that are available that you can provide to your child, whether you can even explore them or, or even Google them. And there is still a great deal of pressure that people should explore the option of cochlear implants because that's better than signing, that you shouldn't sign. And I would say to these people, who are you to decide for us and how to define ourselves as people who are deaf? So that's why I think we need to have a discussion among educational professionals who only see deaf people as black and white. Bring in deaf people, bring in the viewpoints to those who have newly born children who are deaf. People ask me, so Marley, would you have a cochlear implant? And I would say, no, no. That brings a question when you mentioned and talked about the beginning of the program, who is eligible for it? Uh, it's not for everyone. And uh, it doesn't work for everyone. And in my case, my deaf world, it's all visual. So that's why we choose to sign, because sign language is visual. For those who might have a progressive hearing loss, who chose a cochlear implant, I think that's fine, because you have a background of being hearing, as opposed to those who have never heard, who then, I mean, I would say to people, I'm not opposed to cochlear implants, because I, who am I to decide for those individuals? It's not up to me. If it works for them, great. If it doesn't, well, that's why I'm a huge advocate for American Sign Language for children, because we depend on our eyes, not our ears. And, and, and as we said, sign language involves culture. Uh -huh. The deaf community, the capital D, involves culture, education, anyway. Okay, in, in light of that, define what you mean by culture. Define the modern deaf culture. What does that mean? Modern deaf culture means there's a language there. Mm -hmm. American so it's about sign the language. There is a language. It's about the language. It's about our art, mm -hmm. it's about our education, it's about our community. Remember that sign language is itself, oh by the way, sign language is not international by the way. So every single sign language community you can think of has its own culture, has its own language. So it doesn't mean that all deaf people can understand each other all over the world. Deaf culture is extremely strong and I am very proud to be a member of it. And it's very precious and that's why we are always having to fight against those who try to control our lives, who try to tell us what is best for us, because they don't know. They're not deaf. Mm -hmm. 